Hi there, this is a uh, Photoshop thing really, rather than a comfy UI one. It's really about how, what do you do with your image after you've generated it. So here's an image was generated after I was experimenting on something, and it's quite a nice image, fairly generic. What I was going to go over is how you might uh, adjust and, and take away the uh, some of the AI feel that that sort of plastic unreality. It's not reality exactly. It um, I, don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't say it feels like it's made of icing sugar. Uh, and this this one isn't as bad as some are. But I was just going to go through the way in which I sometimes take the edge off the smooth perfection because I I don't like photographs really. Making photographs in AI is. A, I cannot see why you would bother, but but making made images is a is another matter, and I so I I'm slightly dubious about um, faking painted images as well. I mean, the AI image should have its own style, really, uh, and not refer back to uh, historical styles or photographs or anything. Really, it should be its own thing. So I've been looking into how how that might be achieved, which is a, a little bit of a roundabout method of doing it, but uh, I hope I hope it's interesting. So the first thing I do is take away the colour. We don't need the colour for the first stage, so if we get rid of the colour, we can see the image afresh. And then I want to take away more. I want to reduce the number of tones in the whole image. So what I do is uh, that, that uh, by the way, the black and white is down here in in the uh, in the new layer thing, uh, there it is, black and white. You can see it there. Uh, and another one down there, which will go down there again. Another one will go down there. So you posterize. Here she is, posterized. Take that off. Put it on again. So she's split into a a, a, a a specific set of tones. There are only five tones it can use. So it's broken the image down into just five tones. Five tones is quite is enough, really. It's quite a few. The next thing you do, which is down here again, is put in a gradient. A gradient map is here, and it is the set of colours. So you've done the set of tones it can use. Uh, the gradient map shows the set of colours it can use. We'll bring up the gradient. So there's the gradient, and it's split between... There's five colours, five points in here. And those are now split, these colours, if you see, are split over the tones of our image. And it's put in with soft light. In normal, it looks like that. So it's put in in soft light, so it mixes into it. Soft light. You can try, try any of these. They all have a slightly different feel. You have great fun with these. Quite like overlay. Anyway, I don't want too much colour, so I'm are you going for soft light, because soft light combines with the next thing we do. Next thing we do is we make a new layer. I'll go through how we, I've already got one made there, but I'll go through how we make it again. A new layer, you fill it with black. So you go to the rather strangely named filter gallery, which is up there, and there's all these cheesy filters. And the one I want is called reticulation, and you can increase its density, darkness, etc. And that, that And that's operating on our black. So it's up in filter, filter gallery, and there's various other funky things in there you can mess with, but we're happy with that. And I will then make that darker, uh, we'll turn this one off, but the one I've made darker, so I do a, a levels on it, so that you see the hump in the levels. I want to get the middle exactly in the middle of the hump, because then this noise will map over the gradient. If you, can you imagine the gradient spread across that hump? That's how that's, how that's going to, to mix in. So then we set that layer again to soft light. And there's the effect. It nicely merges all of our posterized tones. It's a nice, it's obviously too strong uh, in its current. In fact, all of these, their opacities can be, uh, opacities can be adjusted. Now with this, um, so that's one texture, but we can overlay textures. Uh, we can, uh, that, that's one, that's its percentage in that one there. So we can add other ones. I made another texture layer here. I'll put, I made several. So you see that one's a little more busy. So we can lay these over the top of each other and percentage them in. I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't tend to put them all in on full. 
they're all in on full at the moment. <laughs> I'd be, I'd be altering the opacity of all of them to uh, to make them a little bit more subtle. Maybe we'll go down and do that now. Although it can look a little bit cruder than than you finally want it to be, because the the final layer is putting uh, uh, is putting the original image back over the top again. Then I have made. I assume you know how to. Maybe you don't. I shouldn't assume, should I? Uh, if you want to select your figure, then there's the automatic selection thing, which will select her, and then uh, you can make a mask. I won't go over how to make a mask. Making a mask is, is quite straightforward, and you can. And so I can, I can mask out my figure and I've done that with two if you can see them here I've done that with two uh, colored texture layers a pinky one which only does her it doesn't do and then the mask is inverted and that does behind her so that has separated at her from you know, in in color and then and then the next thing I do is very very simple I duplicate my original layer and put it over the top and the first one is set to color it's just doing colour. Do you see that? It's putting some of the original colour back in. So it's 37% at the moment. But then I duplicate the layer again and this time it's controlling luminosity. Do you see that? So it's bringing back the tonal range a bit. We've still got all our textures floating in the background. And I typically carry on <laughs> layering until I like uh, the end result. You can sort of see, you can go mad, you can go mad. I can, uh, I got a huge saturation with that same mask, so I can change the colour of the background and change the colour of her. I could put a texture over the top of the whole thing. This is a, like it's a, like it's a wall painting or something, so you, there's cracks and, and so forth. That's the original one, that's where we've ended up. We might put the levels in, not to too much, and I put, uh, I put more copies of the uh, original over the top so you can see you you, you can do every flavor um, once you've got a whole set and and waste a whole afternoon like i have <laughs> okay i hope that's uh, i hope that's interesting for some people i think that's all i've got to say on the subject i'll, I'll put a link to um uh, a video someone else made that explains the reticulation process a little more uh, a little more clearly than i just okay thank you very much